continuing our work with word problems that involve the use of slope and slope intercept form. We have this function c which equals 30,000 minus 3,000 q and it represents the balance in your college payment account after q quarters. Identify the slope, interpret the slope in this situation. Let's look at our input variable, which is Q quarters, right? So Q represents the number of quarters that you've been in college, right? And then our output variable is this capital C, and that represents the balance in your college payment account. Okay, so it, that means that if we just rewrite this equation and put the negative 3,000 Q plus 30,000 in this form, then this equation is in slope-intercept form, isn't it? So then the slope will be the coefficient of q, our input variable, and it's a negative. So what does that mean about the college balance? Well, that means that the balance is decreasing, isn't it? And by how much? Yes, $3,000, but how often? Because, again, you want to remember that slope is a rate. So just saying 3,000, that doesn't give us enough information. Take a look at the input variable is number of quarters. So our units for slope will be dollars per quarter. So our slope says that the balance in our college payment account is decreasing by $3,000 each quarter because you're making payments on your college tuition. Do you see how that works? Let's write that down. Here's my conclusion statement. The balance in the college payment account is decreasing by $3,000 each quarter. Part B says find the initial value. Interpret the initial value in this situation. So our initial value, as you know, is our y-intercept, our vertical intercept, which in this case will be represented by the 30,000, right? So the 30,000 is our vertical intercept, and that's our initial value in this situation. That's where Q is 0. Let's write that order pair down. So we have 0, 30,000. So what does that represent? In this situation, what information is that giving us? Yeah, if you said that's the initial account balance before any payments have been made, you're right. So this college account has $30,000 as a balance before we start making payments on it. Right? So let's write that down. So I wrote the initial account balance is $30,000. And now in C, we're asked how many quarters will this account pay for? How many quarters will this account pay for? So with $30,000, how many quarters can we pay for? And yes, we're looking for C to be equal to zero by the time we finish paying for all the quarters, right? So we're going to set Z to zero, and then we're going to solve for Q. And that will give us how many quarters we can pay for with this money in the account, okay? So I'm going to add the 3,000 Q to the other side. They've given us some nice numbers, haven't they? And then we're going to divide by 3,000, and we get Q equals 10. So we can pay for 10 quarters before the money in the account runs out. And so that's my conclusion statement.